Now, something we've all been anticipating, our special guest for today is a dynamic and driven young man whose rise and contribution to the music industry has made him influential even to those he views as his own inspirations. Now, over the last five years, Anati has become South Africa's most sought-after producer and his latest album titled Iyeza highlights the social ills that are taking place in our society. Now, let's have a look at one of the videos from Iyeza. I'm not done. on Afternoon Express. Thank you so Thank much you for fine. coming through. Thank you for having me. And finally, we get uh -huh. to have you back in the loft. It's been a while since we've had you um, on know. Afternoon Express, but Come you've on. been really busy. It's been hectic, but I mean, it's a blessing, though. It is a yeah. blessing. Yeah. Now, yesterday, I was blessed enough to watch that full video of Ethan. Dude, I was like sitting there, <laughs> watching it like this, captivated for four whole minutes. What did because you think? You directed Genius. Thank you. I felt like I was watching a mini movie more than anything. I mean, we try to just compact as much content as we could into that four and a half minutes as we could, but it's actually like a, a little short film. It really is. You know? and, and I see that it's based off of a true story. Please may you enlighten us. What was the concept behind the video? You know, I think the underlying you know, concept is really the blessed story and mm. the situation that we have in South Africa at the moment with our youth, you know, just being influenced by, you know, their peers and what, what goes on on the social scenes and, yeah. you know, in social media and, you know, in the nightclubs and things of that nature. So it just deals with all of that, you know, Umdana coming from and Makaya, you know, and going into a big city mm. and, you know, getting lost in the life and the lights and the glitz and the glam. So that's what it really deals with, you know, like, yeah. are you not shameful that you've been you know, given these blessings, but you know, you people just throw it down all the drain, you know, so. And that's the thing, and peer pressure has a very big play in all of this whole thing, yeah. you know. Uh, I feel like you're so on point in terms of the social ills that you speak about, but why did you find that it is important right now to speak about and kind of rehash the blessed situation? I don't know, I think it's important to use our voices for the right causes, mm -hmm. you know, we might not have like a long time on this platform that we have. So it's, it's just important that whatever we do, even with the music, the art, the film, the fashion, the photography, is just to give people some, some depth, some, you know, he has to give them medicine, some healing. It's not just about, mm. you know, the look or whatever the people may feel it is. I actually like that. <laughs> you have to give people Iyeza. You have yeah. to give them that medication yeah. that they need to kind of heal the society from the ground up. I absolutely love That's yeah. actually very, very powerful. Now, you spoke about being a voice yeah. and a meaningful yeah. voice in communities. You are doing such amazing work in the Kailicha community. Uh, it honestly gives me goosebumps. We get, we're getting there. I feel like, you know, um, it's, it's not really something we should celebrate as yet because people are still faced with, you know, dire situations in these communities, you know, I feel like right now is the time for us to, you know, get together and spread, spread awareness and, you know, actually help. Mm. You know, a lot of people ask, how can you help? You can help by, you know, going there and doing something, you mm. know. It's not about tweeting, it's not about Instagram, it's about, you know, lending a hand and, you know, giving your time and going out there and helping our people out there. So what we, what we did in Kailicha was just, um, just a stepping stone. We really you know, trying to fix our communities, you know, and that's what our mission is at the moment. Well, your mission is definitely being um, accurately hit. I think you're right on mark right We're now. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, I think We're you need there. to give yourself a little bit more, you know, a consideration because, I mean, it's been a hectic year. 2018 has seen some 
incredible devastation yeah. but it's the festive season and I feel like in the festive season this is yeah. the time to lend out a helping hand um, obviously love and come together as a family but then use that love to kind of give to others yeah and I think this is this is when people need it the most you know I feel like the whole year people have been working so hard just to you know have that one moment of celebration with their mm -hmm. families or you know, whatever people may be celebrating because th people have different holidays, but you know, this is the time where we need to be together and just spread that love and that holiday spirit. You know? Oh, well, spreading the love <laughs> and, and that yeah, amazingly. Positive vibes. And that positive vibe. <laughs> yes. um, a little birdie tells me that your sister is now into music too. Uh, she's always been into music. She's always been into music. She's, she's an amazing singer. She, 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 She's, yeah, she's, she's epic. So as, so as a family, okay, can we expect a Christmas album, Nyana, <laughs> this next year or something? Um, I mean, if she, if she lets me work with her, you know, oh, she's, wow. she's, she's, yeah, she's a star. Well, that's absolutely. She's a way better singer than I am. Really? Okay, yeah. well, I'm excited to hear more from her. Manala, yeah. Wanala. Manala. Manala. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for coming through. Look, I'm, I'm in keen to engage with you a little bit further in the show, but yeah. more in the kitchen. Are you a good chef? Or cook, I mean, rather? I mean, you know, we whip it up, you know, with the right dose of yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm going to need you to roll up those sleeves because Why? we are about to get stuck into the kitchen okay. after the break. If you guys have veggies, then I'm there. Oh, we always have veggies here then on the show. Go. We're keeping it healthy and we also love to keep it green. So we got you. Don't worry. Don't Jeez. worry. Jeez. So after the break, we make a sensational stone fruit glazed gammon. Plus, it's day two of our amazing four day sh of showering you with gifts for just being you. So stand a chance to win by simply calling us on 021-430-9881. A little later on in the show, though, not now, only when we say our lines are open. Now, remember, you can also call us if you have any culinary questions or if you have a question for our amazing guest, Oanati. See you after the break.